show. If you call in, caller 16 during a triple shot this week. It's front rows. And sure enough, right on time, Mr. Paul McCartney is with us on my secret private line. Mr. Paul McCartney, all right. Yeah. Hey, sure is good to hear from you. Is that Bob? It's Bob the Blade. Hello, Bobby <laughs> the Blade. How oh, sharp as ever. It's a beautiful day. I'm glad you're in town. I guess you just got in town, didn't you? Yeah, we're just uh, heading towards the gig now. I'm sorry, you're in the automobile now? Yeah, I'm in a extra long limo. <laughs> what is your limo of choice? Uh, limo of choice is just black and long. <laughs> you know what? I hate to say, I actually get a bit embarrassed swanning around in these things, but you know what I mean? They always show up, so I'll get in them and uh, lounge around in the bar in the back with a few mates. You know, and enjoy it, I guess. Well, what car do you like? To, what do you drive these days, actually, for your own personal use, Paul? Um, you know what? I like Mercedes. Well, we're, you know, in Europe, we're right next to them there. They're a nice ride, so I like that. I also have a Land Rover, like a, a real basic model, kind of cheap for on the farm, you know. Sure. On the farm. I like that. I love it. That a boy. Well, listen, man, it's been a long time since so you've been here. I guess you were here in 90... Well, you haven't been out since 93, but you were here in 1990, and you did Carter-Finley Stadium then. That's right, yeah. Then you were a friend of the Earth. Remember, that's what the big deal was for you. You were doing Earth Buddies type stuff. That's right, yeah. Well, that's always a good thing to do, you know. You know, there's always a kind of thing, immediate uh, concern, like in these landmines. You know, we're, we're with a thing called the Dr. Minefield. Where, uh, so we're basically trying to clear up landmines. What happens is that, you know, after a war goes away, the soldiers leave, and then all the civilians who live there uh, get blown up with these things. You know, they just walk somewhere they think is safe. So we, we're in this organization. We, we actually organized clearing up a lot. We just cleared up the last landmine in Kosovo. Wow. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. And then we helped the survivors, because it's mainly women and children who sort of get their legs blown off and arms blown off and... Yeah. get killed and stuff so we we help all these people it's a really cool charity so that's what we're doing this year mainly and i'm still into uh you know uh friends of the earth and animal awareness and all that stuff yeah, well that's it but, uh, you know the focus is on the landmine thing this year uh, landmines.org land okay good it's nice and simple landmines.org landmines.org yeah. all right hey i'm just gonna wave to a few fans here outside the gate so just say, hi, how you doing, gang? All right, rock and roll forever. There you go. <laughs> that, All right. Very good. That. Okay. So we're just heading into the gig now, so I, I think the phone signal may keep going. If it doesn't, I'll see you around, you guys. And, oh, you know, the, what the driver's just stopped, so he's, he's letting me do this. Hey, we got, uh, just so people know without giving too much away, I guess you're doing a lot of Beatles songs. That's cool, but... Uh, what happens on tour, the new songs are always a bit of a sort of uh, hard sell, you know. If you if you do an old Beatles song, most people know it and they love it. And for any act, you know, your new songs, it's a little more difficult. But you feel you know, that as the tour goes on, you know, people get more used to it. And they, sometimes they get more into those songs as the tour goes on than the older ones. But we're playing and we're enjoying it. It's rocking. And, um, you know, here we are in Rally ready to rock. Hey, real quick, you've got the DVD coming out November 26th, so I think that this is probably the first time you've allowed the cameras backstage, and so there'll be all this unreleased stuff that happens backstage that no one else will have ever seen before. Right, that's what it is. You get a lot of numbers. In fact, I think it's like you get some glimpses or full numbers on about 30 songs, so it's like packed with music. But then also you get a lot of backstage stuff, a lot of sort of access all areas. And then there's a host of extras. It's, I'm really pleased with it, actually. A pretty cool DVD. Um, and there's this other thing I'm really wild about, is that you get access to a secret website. So not only do you get all the DVD, but you get this access to, like, extra material, even beyond the DVD's extras. And uh, so we're going to have fun on that website. So it's like it's really amazing value for money. In fact, I think I'll even buy one myself. Good for you. <laughs> hey, Paul. Hey, listen, we've just arrived at the gig. I've got to go do this uh, sound check. All right. Go, go see my guys. So you guys be good. You take it nice and easy. I'm uh, entering the building now. Yay. Elvis is leaving. <laughs> okay, Paul. Listen, I'm entering. It's good to have you in town. Have a wonderful, wonderful show tonight. Great to see you. Great, great to speak to you.
you, Bob. You take it easy and say hi. In fact, I'll say hi to all your listeners. <laughs> hey, rally listeners and Bob's listeners. And we'll see you around, man. Take it easy, yeah? Bye-bye. All right. Mr. Paul McCartney. So that's fun. Paul McCartney's in town for the show tonight at the Entertainment Sports Arena. You could probably buy tickets if you got some spare cash. Anya's. I don't think it's sold out. So that's cool. Have old Paul here in town for a while. That's awesome. Hey, uh, check on traffic here, and then we'll uh, kick in another rock before you go on commercial free for a long time in a minute.